Alright guys, so we're going to look at how to do better animations with jQuery 1.4, which is just came out, and they have a whole new thing on it. They even have a whole new uh, documentation on it. If you go to api.jquery.com, uh, it's this whole new dedicated API site for 1.4. Um, it's completely different than when you just go to documentation, and they got a really great way of, of looking at the information now. But we're going to focus on the brand new animations. Basically, it's called... Um, per CSS item animation, or I forget what they actually call it, but um, it allows you to animate a style per uh, property. So, for example, this is the script I had last time, so if you watched my last video, you'd see that I'm, I'm triggering an animation with the escape key. So if I, if I hit the escape key, it's going to animate in you know the same manner, the width and the height, okay? And the way I'm doing that is right here, uh, I'm getting the object key code from the last video. If the key code is 27, meaning the escape key, I'm taking my div and I'm animating width to 500, height to 200, one second, and I'm doing it linearly. Okay? And that's pretty boring. So now with this new method, what we can do is instead of passing it 500, we can actually pass it an array. Now what's the first parameter in the array is the same, but the second one is actually the easing type. Okay, so we'll call this one swing, and then we'll call this one, we'll put that in array as well, and we'll call that one, uh, that one will be linear. Now I don't have to put linear because it's the default, um, but I'm going to anyway. And then uh, just so I can show you what it looks like back and forth, I'm going to create another key code listener for the, for the uh, tilde key, which is 192. So I'm going to put that as 192, and we're just going to animate that back in the reverse manner swing linear okay so now when we take a look at the script if I hit escape you can see it actually it's kinda of going on a curve and if I hit the tilde key it comes back the opposite direction I know it's not the exact same because I flipped them so you can kinda of see how the animation is really kinda of on, on a curve if you can kinda of see that happening uh, let me see if I can make that a little more outrageous so it's um so it's really, you really notice it. Uh, 400 width, 400, 800. So let's see if this is, um, okay. Right, so out like that, and then in like that. And you can kind of see how it's it's kind of doing this uh, this curve thing. So I, I don't know how you would use this now, but I'm sure in some manner you can come up with a way to use these animations to be, uh, you know, so now you don't have to write dot animate this, uh, you know, at the use the simultaneous dot animate this at the simultaneous use animate this blah 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 blah. If you watched any of my other animating videos, you'd see how much simultaneous animations I was doing to get certain effects. Uh, but with this, it's a lot easier. So now you can animate uh, per CSS item uh, with different easing. And of course, if you have the easing uh, plugin, then you can do, you know, bounce and, and all those other easings that come with that plugin.